I know what you're thinking. Why is Trey, average tennis player at best, in the coolest tennis shot that you have ever seen? To explain, I've gotta go back nine months. Since I started playing tennis, I've been searching for something different to wear than the classic kits you see on court. But for the most part, the only companies selling tennis clothing were the giants like Lacoste, Nike, Asics, which make great stuff, but is not exactly what I was looking for. Well, I wanted to change that. So I called up my friend Peter. I met Peter playing golf a while back and we became friends. Peter's a former designer at Random Golf Club and has also created a ton of cool stuff on his own. Peter also loves tennis, so he was the perfect guy to recruit for this project. After Peter was on board, he called up his friend Andy. Andy is a wordsmith with a ton of experience crafting brands and running advertising campaigns, so he was the perfect guy to round out our team. Now the first step in creating a brand is probably the most difficult, that is thinking of the name. The name you choose ultimately shapes the entire identity of your brand. We wanted to create something simple with the potential to be iconic that also touched on the fabric of who we were as a brand. We thought of some decent ones, some really bad ones, before we came to the perfect name. Tango. Tennis, at its very core, is a collaborative act between two people. And what a better way to reference that than playing on the iconic phrase, it takes two to tango. Now that we had a name, it was time to create. We created some early mood boards, quite a few graphics, and then got to work on some tees and some shorts. Our goal was to create items that seamlessly transition from on and off the court. Don't worry, we have some high performance stuff in the works that you may actually have already seen before. But with this first collection, we wanted to focus more on the lifestyle aspect. Shorts went through a couple iterations and when I got the production sample in hand, I had to take them to the court to test. All right, we're testing the Olympus short today. This is the single piece I'm most excited about. I love these things, but let's see how they play on court. <sighs> these things feel really, really nice. Like the balls in the pocket, it feels like it was made for tennis, which it was. It kind of just pins the ball to your thigh, the balls to your thigh, so there's not a whole lot of moving around. I know that sounds crazy, but they feel really good. If these shorts can survive in this heat, they can literally survive in anything. It's 101 right now. I'm not saying this just because I'm selling them. These are some of my favorite shorts of all time. They're so versatile. The material is unbelievable. You'll have to see for yourself. As for the shirts, you've seen these before. Worn initially in the Amazon review video, these shirts have made it across the country at this point. And I can promise you, they play great. There's a slight crop and a thick collar that keep them out of the way when you're playing tennis. And personally, I know I'm biased, but I think they look great. For those who have noticed these and given me confidence in what we are doing, thank you. Your time is now. Shorts and t-shirts, unfortunately, do not sell themselves, and we spent a month planning our initial launch video. That takes us to night one of the shoot. Sick joke. Huh? It's a sick joke. It's horrible. It's a sick joke. It's fucked up. <laughs> uh. We've got an absolute disaster on our hands, right? 30 minutes before we start shooting, pours for like 15 minutes. No rain on the forecast whatsoever. First two hours could not have gone worse, to be honest. Could not have gone worse. The tough start did not deter us and it ended up being a great evening led by our director of photography, Simon. Yeah, we're only gonna be here for four, three, four seconds, right? We'll start rolling and we'll have you guys rally a little bit and then I don't, I don't know the terminology, but you're gonna need to come forward. Come forward to the net? Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Meet our other actor, Asaf. I go about this far back. So okay, wherever cool. I'm standing, like I can be as close as this. Yep. More like this is about as far as I'd let me go. I'm gonna ruin the gear. Oh. Asaf was a legend and able to step in last second. You may have seen him before in a video where we just met at a random park. Our original actor, Arthur, tore his LCL the week before the shoot and Asaf stepped in. Maybe we can do some like inside out to inside out. Yeah. And that way you're in that corner hitting your stronger shot. Right. 
it would make more sense if I'm this far out wide, you'd definitely be hitting a backhand, which this is true. We don't want me hitting backhands, really. <laughs> One of the toughest parts of the night was we had a shot where the lights went off the second I hit the ball. Kyle was in charge of turning the lights off. Unfortunately, he did not have a view of the court from the light switch. First, let's try a, a fake light off. What's gonna be the hard part is that it's almost gonna have to be yelling, three, two, one, and then you're gonna have to hit a real tennis shot right as someone hits the lights off at the same exact time. Yeah. All right, I'm in charge of an essential part of the shoot right here. Got to turn the lights off right when Trey hits the ball. All right, I'm ready. We still nailed it first take. We ended up shooting till 2 a.m. and at points got delusional. Articulating arm and the 12 millimeter. And that, what, what, what are we laughing about? You're, you're just direct, direct. <laughs> Night two of the shoot, we were tasked with building a court at an industrial park, which we did not have permission to use. We came up with some interesting ways to accomplish this. Setting up a court in this industrial lot. Hopefully the cops don't show up. Yeah. I'm feeling this off. Feeling, feeling strong. <laughs> feeling strong. Five, four, three. That thing is crispy. Mina Safin spent some time choreographing tennis movements. Inside out. And that sick shot I showed you at the right, beginning, three, it took some ingenuity two, to get there. One, go. Then we ended in the night where all good nights end. Taco Bell. The shoot was some of the most fun I have had shooting videos, and after that, things started to move very, very quickly. Holy crap. We got some boxes, fellas. We got some boxes. Sheesh. I need some room in the house for all this. The tees, baby, the tees. Hands will be working hard, tagging all these things, you know. Doing what needs to be done. I tagged and rebagged all of the items in custom packaging. I edited our launch video, did some more bagging and retagging, took some product photography for the website, and you guessed it, did some more bagging and retagging. And now, this week is the week. Tango is dropping this Friday worldwide at tango.co. Go check it out if you have any interest. Follow us on socials. If you're not interested, that's cool too. In the meantime, let's check out our launch video.